Hello and welcome to Motors for the Masses. Now firstly I apologise for the drips. Can't do anything about that. Um, and secondly, I was going to bring you two very different videos today. One of them was going to be the CF Moto MT650. However, due to source supply, it got sold. So I can't bring you that yet. The other one was going to be a four-wheeled family feud by way of karting. Yes, I was going to go karting yesterday with my brothers and my nephew, and unfortunately, a monsoon arrived. So we couldn't really do anything about that other than reschedule. So that's coming in a couple of weeks. So today I thought I'd take the opportunity to introduce you to a new project. Now, bear with me. I know there's been several projects, and yes, I know about Bob. But this project is something that I've wanted to do for a while. As you know, recently I've got a track bike and I've done a track day and there's more track days coming. But then I thought, what about doing it in a car? So before we carry on, let's roll the intro and get cracking. It turns out I could do something about the dripping. I shoved a sponge in the guttering. But let me introduce you to the car. Now, this is not any ordinary Fiesta. It looks like a 2001 Fiesta, because on the outside, it is. And I only paid 600 pounds for this car, because it isn't a car that's going back on the road. It's a track car only. It came with a free flat tire, no extra charge. However, under here is something a little bit different. Now I'm going to start it up and I'm going to introduce you to what's under the bonnet. <laughs> Complete with big bore four exhausts, of course, which will probably be going. But under here lies a 130-ish brake horsepower, 2-litre blacktop Mondeo engine rather than the 1.6 usual engine that's under here. So yes, 16 valves, ZTEC engine from a Mondeo. So it's got plenty of poke, and I shall demonstrate that briefly in a second. Let me introduce you to the rest of the car, because it's not quite, let's say, complete. So here is the standard big bore exhaust which shall be going for a stainless steel smaller exhaust inside here are the side sills and some in-floor air ducting commonly known as holes and they should be welded up as can be seen over there as well holes. However, I shall weld in some new floors, one on this side and one on that side, weld up the holes in the floor before we carry on with the car. But again, for £600, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. The chassis rails will also be uprated or strengthened, shall we say. Um, the dash will be sort of almost getting rid of. The seats will go, the seats will go, and I have a list of things I want to buy. One of them being a roll cage, um, Upgrading the brakes, of course, um, bigger brakes on the front, disc brakes on the back, uh, the exhaust system, the race seats, the harnesses, the usual stuff for a track car. And yes, even if it turns out to be a dog, um, it's worth the money for the engine. But anyway, I'm determined because these little things are quite nippy as they are without a two litre engine in it and they're quite good on cornering. So I'm looking forward to this project and I'm looking forward to making it something a bit special. Not for the road, only for the track. Of course it'll be liveried up with all the Motors for the Masses stuff and Lightning Storm motorcycle stuff, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So let me give you a little demonstration as to how it pulls away. 
with a flat tyre. But I don't want to pump it up because I'm probably changing the wheels. Well, maybe not the wheels, but the tyres, of course. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and what you would do with it other than put it in a skip. Because that was an option. No, it wasn't. So yes, let me know in the comment section below what you think and what you would do and what you would change on the car to make it track ready other than what I've said. And that really brings me to the end of this small little episode. Um, I'll be back again with another outtakes video and we'll be coming soon. Um, we are going to do some more on Bob. We've got some plans for that now. And we are going to get uh, the MT650 done and we are going to get that karting done. And there's some other bikes coming through as well. There's some new stuff coming, scooters and bikes as well. So we'll bring you that too. So all that remains for me to say is until next time, please ride and drive carefully, but watch me drive by. Goodbye.